Welcome to Sports with Charity Chambers. Charity. Sports with Charity Chambers. Now here's your host, Miss Charity Chambers. Howdy, welcome to Sports with Charity. I'm Charity Chambers and oh my gosh, I am super excited today. I have a special guest joining us today via satellite. And I'm just really excited about this. He's been on my show a couple other times before. And today we're going to be giving you guys a lowdown on why this is the biggest week for Aggie football and why it's so crucial for them. Oh my gosh, I'm just super excited. So let's just dive right into it. Here is my brother. Thanks so much for being on the show today. Howdy, it's your boy DCIV. This weekend is the most important weekend of the year for the Texas A&M Aggies. Texas A&M, for the first time since joining the SEC, Texas A&M is in a position to control their own destiny. Like, let's look at this overall. See, we have, right now, Texas A&M is tied for LSU with in first place in the SEC West. On the other side, we have Florida that stands alone. This weekend will determine what happens with Texas A&M for the rest of the year because we have LSU playing Florida and Texas A&M playing Alabama. If A&M beats Alabama, then they are pretty much set to go on to win the West. It does depend on what LSU does down the road because if A&M beats Alabama and LSU beats Florida, then the LSU A&M game at the end of the year will determine who wins the SEC West. If a&M beats Alabama and Florida beats LSU. If Alabama beats LSU, it doesn't matter what happens in the A&M LSU game. A&M will win the West. So this weekend is the most important weekend for A&M sports in a long time. Probably since A&M women's basketball won the national championship. Thanks and giggle. <laughs> Giga, thanks so much for joining us today. Like I said, that's that's my brother. He's been on the show a couple other times before, and it's always great having him on the show. But like he was saying, I can't say it any better, honestly. He broke it down piece by piece for you guys. And it's this is such a crucial week for the Aggies. And honestly, I hope they've gotten their act together over this bye week because they can't stop the run. They need Their rushing defense needs a lot of work, and... If they can't stop the run, then we're going to be in for it this weekend. And I really hope that that's something that they paid attention to. And honestly, I'm going to say this. This is a show where I'm just super honest, super blunt. And sometimes it's just simply my opinion. I'm not sold on the Aggies offense for one reason and one reason only. Kyle Allen. I would much rather have Kyler Murray on the field than Kyle Allen. The coaches even said in practice that Kyler Murray looks like Johnny Manziel. Like, Johnny Manziel won the Heisman, so what is he doing on the bench? And I know people are worrying about Kyler Murray's passing, but his passing, the coaches even said this, has improved tremendously and even looks better than Kyle Allen's passing. So why again is he still on the sidelines? And not to mention the way that he runs, and it's just all together. And honestly, the first game that I saw him play against Arizona State, I was watching it with my family, and... I was like reluctant. I kept watching him after a couple plays and I was like, he looks just like Johnny. And keep in mind, I've seen Johnny play in person numerous of times. So it's all right for me to say that. And then even if the coaches say that, come on now. I'm, I'm not gonna get all into that right now. I feel like that's for another video, but I just wanted to tell you guys that. But like I said, I'm not completely sold on the offense. We don't really have a run game at all. And that's okay since we do have a great passing game, but we need to stop running the ball because we can't run the ball. Like, we're not good at running the ball, so we need to stop doing that because we can't run the ball. We don't know how to run the ball. When have you seen one of our running backs just run for 40 yards, 30 yards, 20 yards, or that matter? Like, that is so rare for Aggie football. And why we run the ball on first and second down and we know we can't run the ball is beyond me. So that's something I'm hoping to see a lot less of in this Alabama game. And that's going to be another crucial moment in deciding who's going to win this game and deciding A&M's fate for the rest of the year. 
All right, I just want to say thanks again to my brother, Drew and DCIV. Thanks so much for being on the show today. It's always fun having you on. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below what you think about the Aggies, who you think is going to win this game, why you think they're going to win this game. Share this with all your friends. Support your girl. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching Sports with Charity. I'm Charity Chambers, and you've just been scooped.